Okay, welcome back. So, we continue our discussion on linear programming. In the previous video, we discussed the review concepts for linear programming. And now, we go to the linear programming proper. So, in this video, we will discuss what is linear programming. Okay, what does the linear programming model look like? And what are the important parts of a linear programming model? So, let's continue. Uh, linear programming is a mathematical method that is used to determine the best possible outcome or solution from a given set of constraints. So, these constraints are usually dependent on our resources, and out of our limited resources, we want to get the best possible solution. This best, best possible solution will optimize uh, our goals or our objective. The set of constraints are usually represented in the form of linear inequalities. So, simply put, linear programming is a mathematical method used to optimize solution. Now, what does a linear program look like or linear programming model look like? A linear programming model looks like this. So, you can have a table that contains some important parts. Now, what are the important parts of a linear programming model? It is important to identify the, the parts of a linear programming model because we have to transform the word problems into linear programming models. So, for the basic components of linear programming model, Suppose that this is our linear programming model. Okay, the first one is the decision variables. The decision variables represent the quantity that the decision maker controls. So these are the, the uh, number of uh, things, either the number of objects that he wants to sell or he wants to manufacture. Next. We have the objective function. The objective function represents the goal of the problem. So it depends on the word problem. It's either to maximize profit, maximize revenue, or in some cases, minimize cost. Next, we have the constraints. For the first one, we have the uh, resource constraints. These constraints are usually stated in the problem. So this is uh, the limitation of our resources. And then for the last two inequalities, we have the non-negativity constraints. So these constraints are assumed to be obvious and are usually not stated in the problem. So this means that our x and y values cannot be negative. So this ends the discussion on uh, linear programming and linear programming models and basic components. We will discuss examples in the next video.